Hi, I'm social worker Sumon Ahmed Oli. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Social Worker Sumon BDTV. Hashtag how to make a good pot of coffee. Coffee is a staple in many households all over the world. It's great in the morning, after a tasty meal, or even as a warm treat on a cold day. While making a quick pot may seem simple, there are many factors that play into how good your coffee will be. For coffee lovers, choosing the best beans makes a world of difference. Clean, effective equipment also influences the quality of what you brew. When you're ready to get started, using a coffee maker is the easiest way to make a pot that serves multiple people. Clean out your equipment when you're done to prepare for the next pot. Select how much coffee you want to make. A standard cup is about 6 fluid ounces 180 milliliters, of coffee. That is less than what you get from purchasing the short size at a quick serve coffee chain. If you need more coffee to kickstart your day, you're going to need to use more ingredients. Count how many cups everyone will drink to get an estimate of how much you need to make. 1. For a medium cup of coffee, count on needing to brew 8 fluid ounces 240 milliliters. This is the same as a short cup at the average takeout chain. Most mugs in the US are also designed for this size. Enjoy a large cup by brewing 10 fluid ounces 300 milliliters, of coffee. If you're using a coffee maker, check for measurement guidelines on it. Many machines have volume markings on the pot to help you keep track of what you made. Add cold water to the reservoir on the coffee maker. The reservoir is a clear plastic bin on one side of the machine. It will be covered by a lid you have to flip up to pour in the water. Coffee makers generally hold about 44 fluid ounces 1, milliliters of water on average, but yours may be different. Measure out the water using a measuring cup or the coffee pot if yours has markings on it. 2. Pour only cold water into a coffee maker's reservoir. Hot water could damage it. The ideal water temperature is 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 91 to 96 degrees Celsius. The coffee maker will heat up the water for you, but you will need to do it on your own if you're not using a machine. Place a filter inside the machine over the coffee pot. Fit the coffee pot firmly in the holster on the front of the coffee maker. Then, open the plastic cover over it. You will see an empty chamber with a spout leading down to the coffee pot. Set a fresh paper filter inside the chamber with the open end face up. 3. Make sure the filter is firmly inside the chamber and covering the spout opening. Most machines use the round filters 8 in 20 cm in diameter. You do not need to prime the filter by rinsing it out, but you can do it if you want to. Some people believe it leads to better coffee, but with a coffee maker, it doesn't make a big difference. Pour coffee grounds into the filter and close the machine. A basic cup of coffee requires about 2 tablespoons or 10 grams of coffee grounds for every 6 fluid ounces 180 milliliters, of water you plan on using. Grind up coffee beans first if you're using them. Then, take a big scoop of grounds and add them directly to the filter. The filter will hold them in place so you don't end up with bitter sediment floating in your cup. Thor, for instance, use about 16 tablespoons or 80 grams of grounds for 44 fluid ounces 1, milliliters, of coffee. Consider this to be a baseline that can be adjusted according to your preference. Use more grounds for stronger coffee and less for weaker coffee. Try brewing a single cup first and then adjusting the grounds to perfect the flavor. Press the start button and wait for up to 12 minutes. Take a break and let the coffee maker do the rest. Coffee makers take about 5 minutes to brew a single cup and usually a little longer for a full pot. After your machine heats up the water, you will see the coffee begin dripping into the pot. It's perfect for a hands-free pot of coffee. 5. Keep in mind that if you make coffee without a machine, you will need to pour the hot water over the grounds. The waiting time for a fresh pot is about 4 or 5 minutes but can vary depending on the method used. See you again. Thank. Social worker Sumon BDTV.